Well, the markets are reacting to the conditions with which they operate, and they operate defined by the lowest denomination of risk willing to be accepted by the lowest denomination of investor. And uh, the idea that markets have to operate around a sort of stable, understood, rules-based environment and political certainty is a bit uh, in flux right now. Yeah, political so, certainty is the word here. Yeah. You're, you're given an academic definition, but yeah. uh, tariffs and trade, I'm surprised how pessimistic people are about the short term here. They seem to think something fundamentally is changing here with tariffs and trade. It's a permanent part of the landscape. Do you, do you believe that, and do you believe that it might have a negative effect on the market? Well, I longer think, term. I think tariffs have always been part of our landscape. I mean, we have, we've always had tariffs, but the president, I think, is saying is that the tariff structure right now may not complete, be completely fair to the United States. I'm not giving an opinion if I agree or disagree. <clears throat> I think tariffs as a fundamental impact, produce, uh, fact, impact on the markets, I think is, is a temporary condition. Okay. I really believe that. I think <laughs> markets are defined by the real economy. The real economy is bursting with creativity and productivity. Why? Because capital and labor are being redefined by digitization. Now, you are the chairman of the New York Mercantile yes. Exchange. You watch the commodity markets carefully. Yeah. One of the most common questions I get from viewers is, can you explain how this happened? Can you explain how the Dow dropped 800 points in a single day in a fundamental? Today we well, saw what, oil drop 4% yes, yes. on, on, on the oil inventory report. Yeah. That, that seems a little crazy. People write me notes and say, how, explain well, how look, this happens. Well, you put that, are the biggest market maker out there. Right, let's put that in. Explain how this happens. Well, I used to be, right? I'm not active anymore. Okay, referred to, but, but you know what but I mean. I, I do. So let's look at today, right? We had stockpiles increase, you know, inventories by one half of one day of the United States per, maybe 55% of the that's United States That's my point. Daily that's that's a minor issue. I think the, the great thing about market access is that people get to instantly engage price. The uh, vulnerability around that is always going to be that markets are defined by the lowest level of risk determined by the most least, the least rational participant. So which so, means what? That, that, well, All of a sudden, when, we have extreme movements on what seems like minor pieces of information. Yeah. I think that's what frustrates people. Yeah. Bob, we dropped 800 points. What fundamentally changed in the yeah. last hour? Uh, look, I, it I mean, bothers in, people. In that context, here, here's what I would say to people. The markets are now protected by very specific circuit breakers and stoppage levels. That's the markets. The markets are not going to determine right. your return on investment. You have, to take, you have to take a longer political economic view of... of uh, we got to go, but yeah. you've been a thought leader on the war on terrorism. You started yeah. combating terrorism center yeah. at West Point. Just 10 seconds. Are we okay in the war on terrorism? You're one of the... We're absolutely okay on the war on terrorism, and I think the president has done a fantastic job of defining the goals and accomplishing them around the conduct of the war, but more broadly, the conduct of the peace. And I, I really... I'm, I'm very, very excited about that. Vinny